हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एक्सरसाइज फर्स्ट सी बेस्ड ऑन रैशनल एंड इरेशनल नंबर्स द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट आर इरेशनल नंबर्स हाउ डू दे डिफर फ्रॉम रैशनल नंबर्स गिव एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अबाउट इरेशनल नंबर्स जस्ट प्रीवियस वीडियो सो वॉच दैट वीडियो बट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग इन शॉर्ट वॉट आर इरेशनल नंबर्स the numbers which cannot be written in the form of p upon q and the numbers which you can write in the form of p upon q that are rational numbers and which cannot written in the form of p upon q are irrational numbers irrational numbers are non terminating non repeating and rational numbers are terminating and repeating so these are most important two examples and give the examples by written in numbers see the so many examples i had given in previous video so write down examples by yourself the second question is classify the following numbers as rational or irrational give reasons to support your answer i am doing here and see how to find out the number is rational or irrational now question number second we have to find whether the number is rational or irrational so first is under root 4 4 is perfect square number this becomes 2 so this is the rational number r number and under root 196 this is the square root of 14 and 196 is perfect square number this becomes 14 14 into 14 you will get 196 so this is also rational number now under root 21 you can break it under root 7 into 3 so under root 7 into under root 3 both are irrational numbers so this is irrational numbers you cannot find out the square root of 21 this is non perfect square this is not a perfect square under root 7 and under root 3 are not perfect square so this is irrational numbers irrational number this is in short i double r dot now fourth part under root 43 this is also not in perfect square number so this is irrational number irrational number now come to the part fifth 3 plus root 3 here one is rational number and other is irrational number and the properties which we have studied in previous video the sum of irrational number and irrational number we get irrational number so this is irrational number sum of rational rational number plus irrational number i am showing and you remind it from the property now this is also difference of irrational number and irrational number so this becomes irrational number in property we have studied sum difference product and quotient of irrational number and irrational number you always get irrational number so here we are using the property now come to the part 7th here the product this is 2 upon 3 is a rational number and under root 6 is irrational number because under root 6 this is not in perfect square so this is irrational number here the product of rational number rational number into irrational number always you will get irrational number irrational number so this is irrational number now here the digit 6 having bar so 0.6 bar it means it is 
in the form of terminating and repeating decimal. So this is rational number. Rational number. Now next part ninth. One point two three two three three two three three and so on. Here you are watching that here is the digit in groups is not repeating it is continuing and digits are not repeating so this is irrational number irrational number you can give the reasons what i am giving to you now next part 10th 3.04 00 4 triple zero 4 and so on this is also irrational number because here the group of digits are not repeating but it is non terminating non repeating so this type of numbers are known as irrational number next 3.2576 this decimal number is come to end so this is rational number now next part 12 2.356565656 you can write it 2.356 and put the bar on 56 this is repeating here the decimal form is repeating and recurring or recurring so this is terminating and repeating this type of numbers are known as rational numbers now pi if we are taking pi so this you will write in the form of irrational number but if you are taking the value of pi 22 upon 7 so you will take it a rational number because this is in the form of p upon q and if you are taking pi so this is irrational number so these are the all parts of question number second i think you are able to understand now come to the next question now question number third and fourth we will discuss in the next video because it will take time okay now come to the question number fifth give reason in each case show that each of the following numbers is irrational so very easy you will show here the properties of a rational number and irrational number the first part is 4 plus root 5 this shows that sum of irrational number and it is an irrational number under root 5 so you can write here the reason that sum of irrational number and an irrational number will always be an irrational number so all the reasons you will give like the part first here you will write the difference of irrational number and irrational number always you will get irrational number in part third product of 5 and under root 7 so 5 is rational number and under root 7 is irrational number you will get always irrational number now fourth part here also the product of two numbers one is rational number which is minus 3 and under root 8 is irrational number so here the product of irrational number and irrational number always will be irrational number here the question top which is 2 and under root 5 so 2 is rational number and under root 5 is irrational number the question of a rational number and an irrational number will be irrational number next 4 upon root 3 4 is rational number under root 3 is irrational number so you will write the question of irrational number and an irrational number always will be irrational number so you will give the reason of this question 
like this nothing you have to solve in this part only give reasons now sixth part is true and false we will we will discuss now now question number 6 state in each case whether the given statement is true or false here i am uh, giving reason first i will read all the statements whether it is true or false the sum of two rational numbers is rational this is true the sum of two irrational numbers is irrational false the product of two rational numbers is rational this is true the product of two irrational numbers is irrational false the sum of a rational number and an irrational number is irrational true the product of a non zero rational number and irrational number is a rational number false every real number is rational false every real number is either rational or irrational true and last is pi is irrational and 22 upon 7 is rational so i am giving reasons why the statement is true or false first is sum of two rational numbers is rational take an example suppose 3 upon 2 this is rational number and 1 upon 2 this is also a rational number the sum of two rational numbers you will get 4 upon 2 and this is 2 and 2 2 to the 4 2 upon 1 this is rational number so this is the true statement true second part is the sum of two irrational numbers is irrational uh, take two irrational numbers suppose 2 plus root 3 this is a rational number plus another irrational number is 3 minus root 3 and sum of these two irrational numbers you will get under root 3 under root 3 cancel 3 plus 2 5 which is rational number and the statement is false because in the statement the sum of two irrational numbers is irrational so this is not necessary that the sum of two irrational numbers will be irrational it may be rational or irrational Um, both of them will be may be irrational and may be rational third part is the product of two rational number is rational take an example suppose 5 upon 3 it is one rational number second rational number is 9 upon 25 so you will get 5 ones are 5 fives are 3 ones are 3 3 threes are 9 3 upon 5 this is a rational number rational number and the statement is true because product of two rational numbers is rational now next part is fourth part the product of two irrational numbers is irrational take any two irrational numbers suppose under root 2 is irrational and under root 3 is irrational you will get under root 6 which is also irrational number irrational number so here taking another number under root 5 multiply by under root 5 product of two irrational you will get 5 which is rational number so here may be rational or irrational and the part fourth is the product of two irrational numbers is irrational so here not necessary that it may be it all is must be irrational it may be any one of them this statement is false now come to the next part fourth fifth part the part fifth the sum of irrational number and an irrational number is irrational take an example 6 is rational and under root 7 is irrational and this is what you will get irrational number irrational number so this statement is true and property is also dictate irrational number and sum of irrational number and irrational number 
always be irrational product of rational and irrational and difference and quotient of irrational and irrational always you will get irrational number so properties you will use and show by property the part 6 the product of a non zero rational number and an irrational number is a rational number take an example this is a rational number and under root 3 is irrational product of you will get irrational and irrational number you will get a 2 root 3 so this is the which type of number irrational number irrational number and what the statement statement is saying that always you will get a rational number so this is the false statement 6 will be false now seventh part every real number is rational and i have studied or we studied not i i explain in my video about real numbers what are the real numbers all rational numbers and irrational numbers makes real numbers so in the statement every real number is rational number so this is the false statement the reason is this so this is correct and only rational number will be false now part 8 last part so oh, abhi ninth part also is there every real number is either rational or irrational so this is the correct real number may be rational or irrational so true the part 8 is true part 9 pi is rational pi is irrational by irrational and 22 upon 7 rational this is correct rational number this is true so i give all the reasons of the statements whether it is true or false i think you are able to concept clear thank you and please like share and subscribe my video and please comment Okay bye